Essential Blender add-on. If you didn't see the other ones, have you not seen four, five, and six? Come on. What? You've seen seven, eight, and nine? You know where to click. This is the top three free Blender add-ons. Let's get into it. You guys remember Blender Guru, right? Good guy. Lots of informative videos. You ever see the video where he talks about how to get cycles to run faster? I've seen the video where he talks about getting cycles to run faster. And what did he say in that video? He said tile size matters huge when it comes to GPU versus CPU rendering. Dear God, how would you ever know that? You'd know it because you saw Blender Guru talk about it. Catch up, mustard. And what'd he say? Tile size matters. Then you get a new GPU and you decide you're gonna do some tile size tests side by side, see which comes out. And Blender Guru's charts, they just don't hold up. And you're confused and you're like, well now what do I do? If the Guru's charts don't hold up, what am I gonna do? Well, you're gonna download a brilliant add-on. It's called Auto Tile Size. It's an add-on that automatically figures out what you're seeing is, it figures out what's going on with your render equipment, and it matches the tile size automatically, get it as fast as possible. Honestly, this add-on is so effective. Once you've installed it, it's just there. You never have to worry about it. It's to the point where when I was researching for this video, which nine add-ons were my most essential, I forgot it even existed because once it's in there, it just does its job quietly and you never have to worry about it. It's pretty brilliant. Say what you want about the other add-ons, but you do gotta click things to get them to work. Auto Tile Resizer actually just does the work by itself. Normally, you'd have to go into the Render tab, scroll down, find the tiles. You have to figure out what tile size you want, what kind of spire you want, progressive refine. Do you want progressive refine? I don't know if I want progressive refine. Guru, do I want progressive refine? Great, Guru's not talking to me anymore. Th thanks a lot, Guru. Uh, Guru. But that's all over. Now that you have auto tile size, you got it. It's probably the best add-on that you'll never think about ever again. That's number three. Get ready for number two. Number two. Once again, this is another one that it could easily be number one. Should have been number one, could have been number one. Models, textures, brushes, all inclusive, natively bundled inside of Blender. All you have to do is just go and enable it. Hundreds and hundreds of models, hundreds of textures. It's all included. What is it? It's Blend Kit. Blend Kit. Blend Kit. Once you have Blend Kit enabled, you have a new change to your user interface. You have this little tab here that appears in the center. It's going to say Models materials, brushes, it's gonna have an eye and a search box, and right over here, you're gonna see Blend Kit go down. They've got some paid, a lot of free, but it's, what's nice is you can go ahead and just click free only, go into categories, what do they got? Aircraft, you want aircraft, boom. Helicopter, in the scene, how fast was that? Look at it, it's textured, it's beautiful. If I used our friend Easy HDRI, shout out number six, you could easily render this and impress your friends. Look at that, I didn't do anything. Look at this, in no time flat, all I did, download it, put an HDRI on it. Look at that auto tile size go. And dear God, look how good, I mean that, that's almost photorealistic. Did you see what I did? I click and drag and drop the helicopter into my scene used another add-on, instantly put an HDRI behind it. Look how good it looks. Hello, National Geographic, what's that? You need a realistic helicopter shot. <laughs> no, I'm not doing a YouTube tutorial. Get out, get out. So seriously, blend kit, unbelievable. I used blend kit for probably two months before I realized that there's materials too. I just saw models. All I wanted was models. I didn't even realize there was materials. You want metal? Type in metal. What do you want? You want you want this beautiful metal? You want some rusty metal? What do you want? You want a disco ball? Drag and drop. This is why the node arrange add-on is so important. Arrange all. Bam. It's down to boom. Where do we need to find? We found it. That's blend kit. I can't say enough about it. It's natively installed. Go enable it. What's wrong with you? Models and textures. One disclaimer, choices are limited, they're beautiful, but choices are limited. 
Why do I bring that up? Because number one, you might be suspicious and think it's the same. It's not the same. It's textures, but it's better. You ready for number one? You ready to fall out of your chair? Craft, you ready to fall out of your chair? Oh, that's what I thought. Craft knows what's about to come. Guys, number one, it's a Lily Surface Scraper. Lily's Surface Scraper. What can we say about Lily Surface Scraper, guys? Once you have this add-on installed, link to the GitHub in the description, trustworthy link, install it, enable it, and go to your materials tab. You're gonna find an option for Lily's Surface Scraper. You're gonna see import surface, import from clipboard, and then these, what are these? Texture Haven, free textures, one click. Whoa, look at it now, it just opens. So what do you do? Do you download the diffuse, the displacement, the normal map, the roughness map, the ambient occlusion? Use Node Wrangler, install them all at once? You could, or you could copy the URL. Go back into Blender, click import from clipboard, then click okay. What happens? You fall out of your damn chair, that's what happens. Hit it, Crafty. Oh. Look at this. PBR, unbelievable, beautiful textures at the click of a button. CG bookcase, bam. What do you want? You want a nice, uh, you want a nice blue tile? Copy the URL. Go back to Blender. Import from clipboard. 1K? Sure. Look at that. What do you want? You want, you want some, uh, you want some brick? Ask it for brick. Why are you playing coy? Ask the machine for brick. What do you want? You want a, uh, you want some sort of fugazi brick, or you want some sort of nice brick? I'm gonna go with this nice orange one. Reminds me of my bedroom in high school. Copy the URL. Import from clipboard. Okay. What happens? Textures, textures, textures. How crazy is that? Instantaneously. PBR textures, four different libraries, all free, hundreds and hundreds of textures. I can't imagine a texture you would need for a model that they don't have a reasonable facsimile for. Lily Surface Scraper. Blend Kit. Auto Tile Resize. I think you have to enable all those, get them downloaded, they're all free, they're all amazing, they serve similar, but all different amazing functions. It just makes life easier. Don't work hard, work smart. That's what I always say. I also always say, if you like this video or you learned something, I'm a stand-up comedian in Denver, Colorado. Just at Josh Grambo. There'll be a, you know, play button. There'll be a, you know, go over there, have a laugh. If I make you laugh, you know, maybe you drop a like, maybe you drop a little, a little, a little subscription over here, maybe you come over to Patreon, you, you know, not for nothing, I'm over here. You're over here. I'm over here, man. You're over here. Did I miss anything essential? Because I know I missed somebody. I know you missed somebody. If you miss somebody, call him up. Tell him Josh Grambo has a YouTube channel. He's a stand-up comedian. He's funny. Take three minutes, go watch jokes about him trashing his baby. I love you. Please subscribe. Sad face. This is the true me. Gaze upon the true me in despair, youth. For this will be you. Time is cruel. And mother is calling. It's time to go home from dinner. May you rest in peace. Blender tutorial.